welcome to my channel. I'm Ant. I just got off work, so let me have a little librarian moment. You know? I'm just... Take these off real quick. So I was informed through this wonderful comment right here on a past video that our man is back, okay? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Are you excited? I'm excited. I mean, I'm still a little heartbroken the way that he decided to dip on us and everything, but like he's back now. So are we really dead man? I think not. I think not. Anywho, I'm gonna say this in every video. It's gonna get annoying. I know. If you're not over 18, please don't watch this series. It deals with 18 plus content and I'm not trying to get the popo -po called on me because you want to be a little too nosy, okay? I have tons of other videos you could watch. Go watch those. This series, 18 plus, please. Thank you. Are they gone yet? Okay, let's get nasty. I got my snacks. I got my Doritos that I stole from my child, mind your business. And I got me some water. Cause you know a girl is thirsty. That went a lot smoother in my head. Anyways, if you're a little unfamiliar with this series because you just now, 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 decided to, you know, try and figure out what the hell is going on, I suggest you go back and watch this video here because it's the beginning of this beautiful little, little thing we got going on with our man, Cedric. My man, my man, my man. So our man is in jail and we met him off of MeChat, the dating website app thing. I don't know nothing about that life. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? But we met him off of that app and he led us on, he left us like, like breadcrumbs of why he's there. And I believe he told us specifically why he's in there. I think he's trying to do a get back, you know, he's trying to get his lick back, but not too much detail, which I'm glad for because I'm not going to jail because you told me too much information. I'll snitch in a heartbeat. I think I'm joking. I'm gonna give you a little background while the screen is loading because sometimes it can take a minute. Also, you need gems. I was running low on gems trying to figure out or trying to finish other stories, you know, trying to clear my roster and I ran low. Luckily, I ran into that little cell that they had going on where you get the 500 gems plus five extra hundred more gems. So I ended up getting a little over a thousand gems. So, <laughs> you know, you know. Oh my God. I said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Um, and I need, I need to unpack my attraction for this. I really do. Anyways, let's go see what our man is doing. So Cedric starts the conversation off by asking, are you still there gorgeous? And we have the option of saying, not going anywhere. It's your lucky day. I'm gonna be a little cocky with this response because how dare you leave the way that you left before? Cliffhangers? Really? Ew. It's your lucky day. Every day here is another day closer to freedom. Closer to you, I hope. Yo, bro, <laughs> who got you smiling like that? Like, <laughs> I know we can go for a special or whatever. What are you up to? Other than missing me, of course. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Getting into trouble. Other than missing me, of course. We're gonna stay cocky. You know me far too well already. See for yourself. Mm, we got a picture. We got a picture. We got a picture. I'm blur. <gasps> oh, that's cute. It's almost wholesome, but a little naughty. Fire. Look at that. Just yum. Just yum. He even looks like he's a little thicker. You know, like he's really been in the gym. Like he's a little thicker. Looks perfectly innocent to me. Now I'm the one in trouble. This looks perfectly innocent to me. Maybe you're rubbing off on me. <laughs> you wish. Seriously though, I think you may be a bad influence on me. I should be spending my downtime planning. Planning for what? But these days, all I wanna do is talk to you. Don't avoid the question, okay? Curious face emoji. Don't avoid the question. You can't get my, my, my wheels rolling up here, okay? And then just be like, oh, but you're cute though. I know I'm cute. Now, what are you talking about? Cute, you didn't answer my question. Maybe I'm a good influence. You didn't answer my question. 
Question, what question? All I see is me complimenting you. Oh. Okay. 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 It sounds like your priorities are shifting. Speaking of priorities, let's play a game. I'm rolling my eyes because you keep dodging. You keep playing the game. Ha 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 ha. Huh. What kind of game? Would you rather? Ask me a question. Nothing's off limits. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um, let's do a little devil emoji. Cause I'm gonna get a little personal. Okay. Would you rather have long foreplay or go straight to the main course? Have trust or a fiery relationship? Have the ability to fly or be invincible? Oh my God, corny, <laughs> lame, boo. Tomato, 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 I'm throwing tomatoes. Mm -mm. Have trust or a fiery relationship? I need to know if you're toxic. And we got some gems. We got some gems. We got some gems. We got some gems. Are the two mutually exclusive? In this scenario, yes. Fine. Well, in that case, I'd have to choose fire. Excitement is important to you, isn't it? Life is short. I'd hate for it to be boring. Well, so far so good. All right, ask me something. Hmm. Would you rather forgive and forget or take revenge? He is, he is, he is, mmm. Mmm, I don't know about that one, playboy. I don't know about that one. Because I can forgive all day long. I can forgive, but I will never forget, ever. And depending on the situation, I've been known to dabble my little fingertips in some revenge, you know? This little petty stuff. God, does it feel good. Uh, revenge. Now that's a point we can agree on. Whoever said two wrongs don't make a right was a lie. Or better than me, one of the two. Wait, I just thought I'd want a better one for you. <laughs> Fine, what is it? That is the world's ugliest laugh. I will never do that again. <laughs> Hear me out. <gasps> Remember how I told y'all in some of the stories they have voices? We're finally gonna hear what Cedric sounds like. Please don't disappoint, please don't disappoint. Please don't disappoint, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. Would you rather I served out my time like a good boy or break out of this filthy place so I could take you wherever you are, right there, right now? Oh my God! Does that not send a little... I word this um does that not give you butterflies does it not make you quiver a little bit you know and i'm talking down under not in the belly a little lower a little low. just me okay okay i see how you are i guess i'm a perv by myself immediate devil emoji you know what you're doing you know what you're done don't start being a good boy now i'll wait for you <laughs> i mean i waited this damn long here we are. How many, how long has it been, Aunt? Put it, put it on the screen for the people. How long has it been that we've been waiting for this man? We don't mind waiting, obviously. I suppose we have no other choice. Damn, it's lights out for me. This was fun. It always is. Get some sleep. You too, darling. Uh, that was our part. What part is that? Hold on, wait a minute, y'all. Give me a minute. Put the Jeopardy music on. Let's do, 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 Part eight. This is part eight of this wonderful series with Cedric, okay? Ooh, that, that rolled off. So nice. Anyways, here's the part where we're gonna do our little intermission. I'm gonna get my little drinky drink. God, I'm thirsty. And I'm gonna eat my little snacky snack. Well, that was unnecessary. We're gonna go ahead and get right back to the program. Okay, so our time has passed. We got a full belly. We still thirsty in the right ways. Part nine. Today was a long day. I'm sorry I didn't message you sooner. I was starting to think you had forgotten me. You should be. I really have you whipped, don't I? No, 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 maybe. No, no we don't. 
Nobody else. Um, I was starting to think you had forgotten it though. I could never. Good. Did you miss me? Ooh, a little bit. A little bit. A lot. I hardly noticed you were quiet. Let's not lie. A little bit. I'll take a little. That's what she said. <laughs> you know, you don't have to miss me if you don't want to. What do you mean? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Come see me. <gasps> okay. Oh my God. Why are my responses so quick? Oh my God. It's a 2D man, and He's not real. Calm down. It's the middle of the night, apparently. I'm pretty sure your visiting hour is long gone. Don't worry about that. Just come. Are you asking me to break into prison? Cause I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it! I can't. You are stressing me the hell out. No. No. Ain't no D in the world good enough. And I ain't even had the D. I don't like you nearly enough. Couldn't pay me to do it. Absolutely not, sir. Just come. I don't understand. I'ma play dumb. I don't understand. Don't sweat the details. <laughs> Say you clearly don't know me very well. If you didn't know me before, you don't know me now. You don't know me at all. Just trust me. Let's just say I've pulled a few strings. You paying that guard money, huh? I bet you paying that guard money. What'd the picture do? Oh, he's just so adorable. And we got some gems. We got some gems. And we got some gems. But how? Shouldn't you be behind the bar? That's a good question. Shouldn't you be behind the bars? Yeah. Not tonight. Please just come. I got a bad feeling about this. I must be crazy to even consider this. I am tempted. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm hmm. Curiosity gonna kill this cat. You know which one I'm talking about? Clutch the pearls. You, you know. I gross myself out sometimes. <laughs> Give in, and I won't lead you too far astray. What do you say? Promise you won't get me into trouble. Because I'm not going to jail. Promise you'll make it worth my while. I don't know. You better promise me you won't get me in trouble. Darling, if trouble is your biggest concern, you shouldn't be talking to me in the first place. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Right? You're already ankle deep. Just wade in a little further. I don't want to get arrested. Fine. I promise neither the law nor any of my grubby inmates will lay a finger on you. Okay. Fine, I'll come. As long as you keep me safe, show me a good time. As long as you keep me safe. If I have to get stitches, if I get caught, if I get caught, if I scrape a knee, it's your ass, Mr. Postman. It's a problem. All the bad guys are behind bars. See you soon, my fallen angel. Oh. Okay, whatever. What am I getting myself into? We're going on a date and we're gonna see our bacon. It's behind them bars. That's all right, though. Oh, Lord. Okay, we're going on this date. Let me fix this lash that thinks that it has its own life. Fall in line. Thank you very much. Some of this hair. We're good. Oh, they also updated it. So you can like update your character, which is something that I always thought that they should have been doing, but now you can actually do it. So this is my character. <clears throat> Betty. And we can change our clothes. So we can either wear that or this. That's cute. No, I don't want to wear that. That's ugly. Oh, girl. Girl. They ain't that classy? I mean, it's... It's not of the occasion. I'll put it that way. That's cute, but it's not for me. That's... It's me. I like that. But again, not of the occasion. Uh, that's cute. I like that. That would be for the occasion, I would think. Let's come back to that. What is that seaside serenity? We could do that. No. Oh, that's cuter. Forty animal, maybe. Simple pleasure. That's cute too. They got a lot more outfits in here than I remember them having. The last time I played without y'all, my bad. 
Dang, girl. Dang, girl. Dang, girl. They really upped it. These are some really cute outfits in here. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go with... Where you at, girl? Not the party animal. I think I'm gonna go with this Seaside Serenity. It's cute, it's comfy, it gets the point across. I still show a little body. It's cute. Oh, those are shorts. I guess I'm going to a prison in shorts. I thought it was pants, my bad. Oh, I could change it. Did you pick something cool or fancy? It may affect the date. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Let's go back. Let's get the pink one. Party animal, that's the one. Confirm, let's go. Okay, so I'm here in my cute little suit. Look at how cute because I'm cute. The bleak, impenetrable prison. I know I didn't say that right. Impen impenetrable? Impenetrable. Yeah. Prison looms before you. The cold night air prickles your skin. What am I doing here? The question rings in your mind without an answer. You don't know that what Cedric is up to, but something about him is too magnetic to resist. You find your feet leading you to the entrance and stepping inside. As you step inside, you find the high security you previously had to face has vanished. That's a little scary. That's suspicious. That's weird. It's dark. No guard is in sight, but there's a buzzer on the desk that says ring out of hours. I don't know what that means, but we just, you know, do you press it? Ring for a guard, pass through unnoticed. I'm not trying to get detected, okay? We are a ninja tonight. We're gonna pass through unnoticed. Why alert the guards if they're not here? You pass through the metal detectors casually and with a sense of purpose. No one arrives to stop you. As your hands land on the door, it buzzes open for you, letting you through to the hallway. You do got guard money. You jump at the sound, spinning around to see if someone is watching you, but no one is in sight. It's eerie being in this place alone and yet feeling like you're not alone. There are many doors in the hallway and you have no idea what you're supposed, where you're supposed to go. Try the door on the left, try the door on the right, try the door at the end of the hall. Um, I'm gonna go with the door on the right. Tentatively, you push the door hoping it will release like the last one. It doesn't budge. The door on the left gives similar results. Losing hope, you push the one at the end of the hallway. It buzzes you through. I knew I should have picked that one at the end of the dang hallway, but in the picture, it doesn't look like he's at the end of the hall. It looks like he's got neighbors. So I thought, in my mental, he would either be on the left or he would be on the right. My bad. The eerie darkness of the hallway is replaced with bright fluorescent light. And oh! holding a knife um hmm. okay scream for help grab a weapon stay calm let's stay calm you smile coolly i didn't know inmates were allowed knives he grins twirling it through the air well i'm a killer chef after all the real crime would be not letting me have one you take in the rest of the scene a chopping board covered in vegetables you sigh with relief I see. I wanted to cook you dinner. You wanted to cook me dinner? God. I think I love this man. So you lured me to prison in the middle of the night? How romantic. My dumbass would say how romantic. That's more effort than free men. Okay? Some won't even take you to a McDonald's. How romantic. He winks. I'm just getting started. Cedric's attentive gaze slid over you, devoid of any emotions. He turns on his heels, devoting his attention to the chopping board. You just stand there, staring at him open-mouthed. Girl, close your jaw. What is it, darling? How did you get me in here? How are you out of your cell? Where are all the guards? How are you out of your cell? There are these incredible things called doors. Oh, you smartass. You smartass. You knew that's not what I meant. I just pushed them open and found myself here. You narrow your eyes. 
why do I, why does it do that? <laughs> why does my eye do that? Do I always do that? I, I'm just gonna stop. You're dodging my question, like always. And you're dodging the reality of the situation. Your brows tug together, riddled with uncertainty. That have seemingly moved heaven and earth. I think the slash is supposed to stand tall. You know, I think it's supposed to say that I have seemingly moved heaven and earth. He moves towards you slowly, deliberately, until you can feel the warmth of his breath. The electricity in the space between you. You hold your breath to have dinner with you. His lips hover closed. His eyes dart across yours. Then he steps away, back to the cutting board. You feel alive. We're a homebody. So this sets a fire. I'm flattered. I'm glad you see what I deserve. I'm still a little hung up on how we're doing this. Um, I am flattered though. Oops, I knocked my drink. Anyone should be flattered, it's me that you came. Questions still nag at your head, mainly how. But with the way he carries on, you start to wonder if it really does matter or if you should just enjoy this unusual time with him. I don't blame you for staring, but I wouldn't mind a hand if you cared to lend one. <laughs> yeah, I could. I'm a good cook, you know? I put it down in the kitchen a little bit, you know what I'm saying? My shit be, it be good. I'm gonna cook with him, of course. You brush off your embarrassment at having been caught staring. How can I help? You chop, I'll start frying. Oh, we're having fried food? Oh. He passes you the knife and slowly you work the blade into the vegetables. You can see him watching you from the corner of his eye, his smirk growing. What, am I doing something wrong? You squint at him, wiggling the blade. He lifts his hands and surrender. No, no. Well, not wrong per se. How the hell am I chopping? How do you chop wrong? Well, it's just, may I? He slips behind you, holding his arms over yours, holding your hands with his. You should curl your fingers like this and chop like this. He guides your hands through the motion, chopping with you. Oh, you can feel the warmth. I don't feel com I don't feel com confident saying that word. I'm gonna pass from his body. The subtle ripple of his muscles beneath his clothes. You realize you've never had the opportunity to be this close before. It's like every muscle in your body relaxes. You just want to melt into him. With a start, you realize he's finished the chopping and he's just grinning at you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. No, damn well, I was not paying attention at all. It's not the finest ingredients to be sure, but I'll do my best for you, darling. He gives you a wink as he tips the veggies into a pot, sizzling on impact. I'm just gonna insert the clip and not say nothing. I might do like a voiceover, but I'm gonna insert part of the date that apparently did not record right now. My bad. romance to adventure to us i'm gonna say to romance because i'm a sucker for it you clink your glasses his gaze burning through you to romance as he returns to cooking you push yourself up on one of the counters your legs swinging off the edge it's weird feeling so at ease so playful in a prison kitchen in the middle of the night with an inmate cooking for you it's so surreal it could be a dream. He shatters your, your... Damn these words! With a quick spin on his heels and a manic look on his face. Close your eyes. Uh, do it. Close them. Now. He shouts impatiently. Your heart thuds out of rhythm. Trust him and close your eyes. Refuse. I'll just trust him. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Your eyes slide shut. You try to calm the worried thoughts racing through your mind. You can hear him rustling around, then his footsteps approaching. He stops, and though you can't see him, 
You can feel how close he is to you. I swear to God, if he ends up buck naked, I mean, it's not gonna be a problem, but I'm just saying. You shiver in anticipation. Open wide. Okay. His voice is low, husky, and commanding. Your mouth opens for him. You feel the metal of a spoon. Oh, thank the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You feel the metal of a spoon slide past your lips and an explosion of flavors follows. Oh my God. You moan through a full mouth. You can hear his smile when he speaks. Is that good? It's heaven. Just as you're about to open your eyes, his lips meet yours. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. His kiss is tender yet powerful. You can taste the spices of his dishes, the woody notes of the red wine. Your arms hang limp at your sides, although every molecule of your body seems to scream for him. He pulls away and your eyes blink open to see him licking his lips. You fucking tease. Heaven. His work done, he plates up the dishes and passes it to you. Ratatouille. Peasant's dish, traditionally, but it's beautiful. Like you. You eye the colorful swirls of vegetables, appreciatively savoring each bite. The prison is lucky to have such a great chef. Your talents are wasted here. Let's go with the prison is lucky. He pushes a loaded fork past his lips, moaning at the taste. God, I am good, aren't I? <laughs> you study the tension in his jaw, the flickers of emotion that paint his face. It's easy to get lost in him. And as you find, it's easy to just be here together, enjoying a meal. When you finish, he cleans up the mess, erasing any trace of your evening together. Then he grabs your hands, gently pulling you off the counter and your, to your feet. There's somewhere I want to show you. There's no use voicing objections, even if you have any left. He's already pulling you down the hallway. Where are we going? You laugh, feeling something between nervousness and excitement. Somewhere special. You turn this way and that way, following him through the eerie corridors until you arrive at a spiral staircase. He offers you his hand and together you climb up and up and up and up, if it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then The staircase opens out onto a tall guard tower. You can see the whole prison and the outside world far below. Beautiful, isn't it? His voice is distant and dreamy, calm, as if this isn't the first time he stood up here. Cedric, how are we up here? Where are the guards? Are we going to get, he interrupts you with a finger to your lips, hushing you softly. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Just enjoy this. Be here with me. His constant cav cavalierness is both infuriating and comforting. There's some part of you that just wants to scream at him and another that just says, just go with it. You take a deep breath, trying to find answers and things he's not saying. Tonight, it's been like no rules apply to you in here. So let's run away. Be with me tonight? No, ma'am. What part of we are not going to jail for this man is my character not understanding. No, he's gonna do his time. He's gonna become a citizen of wherever the hell we are. And, and no, we're not breaking nobody out of no prison. No, I need you to tell me what's going on. I guess I'll just never do the answer. Now you're getting it. He claps you gently on the shoulder. You stare at him trying to sift through the chaos of emotions inside you. He's infuriating. An enigma, okay? But isn't that part of what makes him so exciting? How can he act so entitled yet humble, tough yet tender, and passionate on all counts, baby? When he reaches for your hands, you let him take them shivers darting up your arms. I know it's infuriating not knowing. There is so much I wish I could tell you. My lips are sealed, you can tell me what's stopping you. I understand, you have your secrets. It's going back to that whole, you know, I forget which video it was, but I do remember us talking over the phone in the chat and he was talking about how sometimes he likes to keep his secrets and when he only trusts people is when he opens up. So I'm gonna go with, I understand you have your secrets because whenever you're ready to open up and talk to me about them, I'm all ears. He gives your hand a little squeeze. Thank you for trusting me. It's just, it's too dangerous to say anything here. His eyes lock on yours and you can tell he's serious. For the first time you notice how cold it is up here. 
the air seems to be dropping in temperature. Everything starts to look more sinister. I'm scared. I'm scared for you. Let me help you. Uh-uh. Let this man be a man and figure out his man stuff. But I am scared for you. Because, you know, prison be prisoning. He smiles softly, cupping your chin. Don't worry about me. He takes a step towards you, closing the small distance, bringing his lips a breath away from yours. I'ma kiss him back. This is a romantic ass night. Oh, look at that. What a shocker. Who we got more gems? You push past the last inch of space between you and it's like fireworks. His mouth opens against you and you slide your tongue past his teeth, eager for more. Now that you've had a taste of him, it's like you want all of them. I know that feeling, I really do. Your hands pull at his clothes, traveling over the curve of his muscles hungrily. His hands cup your face, hold your neck. Oh, yes, yes. Now we get into the good stuff. Hold your neck, slide down the small of your back. He nibbles on your ear, whispering, you are magnificent. I mean, I'm sure he doesn't say it like that. I'm sure he does it a little bit more sexy, but you know, I am woman. Time and setting disappear, and all that's left is the two of you in this kiss. Two forbidden lovers in a tall tower, the world and their problems like ants below. I don't like that wordplay. I'm sure it was unintentional, but I don't like it. When you finally come up for air and reality drifts back down to rest on your shoulders, everything seems small in comparison. He takes your hand, pulling you back towards the stairwell. Do we have to go? I'm afraid our time is up. The guards changed in 15 minutes. If I'm not in bed and you're not out of here, I get it. We gotta go. Damn it. I thought I was gonna get some booty. He nods, smiling sadly. Thank you for tonight, Aunt. You've made me feel like a free man. His lips brush against your cheek, heat flooding the spot. You descend the stairs together, then must go your separate ways. Doors unlock for you as you wander the halls until, finally, you're back outside. As you leave the prison, you're only certain of one thing, that you can be certain of nothing. And that's the end of our little day, 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 day. This part nine, baby, way longer than I thought it was gonna be, but in reality, I'm so happy and I am so happy and I am so happy that we got to go on our little date with Sanchez. I mean, I think we deserve a date. And the fact that we got to hurt, what? Why'd I go say Lewis? And the fact that we got to hear his voice. Oh my God! It was everything I wanted it to be and more. Did you like his voice? I loved it. I hope we do we get to hear more? Let's find out. Click on good old Sandra. And it looks like we have only one more date. But we got a lot more audios and we got a lot more pictures. So it looks like at the end of the day, it's gonna be another short story. I just hope it doesn't end on like some you know, like like in chapter seven, part seven, whatever. I hope it doesn't end that stupid. But anywho, if you liked this video, go ahead and let me know you like this video by hitting that like button. If you're new around these parts, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button and join this beautiful ass gang because who wouldn't wanna be a beautiful ass person? Oh, and while you're over there, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified any and every time that I upload because I can promise you, I literally just be posting whenever. Anywho, I'm gonna go wash this makeup off my face. I did this whole look off TikTok. It's supposed to be Barbie inspired. I think it's super cute. You think it's super cute? I think it's super cute. I will catch your beautiful ass next time. And also, um, I know I said this early in the video, but if you're new around these parts or you just want to catch up, go ahead and hit that playlist, boo. It's right there at, at the end, you know, when it does the video thing, like it's, it's right here. Go ahead and click on it and watch it and have a good time. Catch up. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> I can barely move, I'm gonna bust the move.